Now at noon and streaming on CBSN Bay Area, a new proposal to streamline transportation around the region affecting hundreds of thousands of commuters. Good afternoon. I'm Kenny Choi. I'm Juliet Goodrich. In for Michelle. Under the proposal, all 27 transit agencies across the Bay Area would work together. KPIX 5's Jackie Ward explains the idea behind the Seamless Transit Act. Is it possible for every transit agency to use the same app, the same clipper card payment, and the same transit regional map? Assembly member David Chu says yes it is. Is this too lofty of an idea? And that's why we need to start the conversation. This has been a conversation many years in the making. Think coordinated schedules, a universal local bus fare, and aligned routes across all nine counties of the Bay Area. But among all this talk on seamless transit, it was hard to ignore the fact that we were standing in the very building that has failed to bring high speed rail to downtown San Francisco as promised years ago. Here's Chu's response. Many of the 27 transit agencies are trying to make new investments in their system, but there hasn't been the coordination we want around design, around infrastructure, around planning. We want to bring everyone together to do more work in this area. Between 2016 and 2018, ridership across the Bay Area Public Transit Center systems fell by 5.2 percent, and Berkeley resident Terry Taplin understands why. I spent years as an undergraduate and graduate student commuting for three hours round trip across four cities, transferring across three different transit agencies to get the class and back home. Getting this done will be anything but seamless. Yet when only 3% of all Bay Area trips are made via transit, Chu says something has to change. Assembly member Chu says several of his colleagues who represent regions across the Bay Area have jumped on as co-authors and he's hopeful this will pass. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. This assembly bill is expected to be heard in the Assembly Transportation Committee this spring.